John, what can you tell us about this new test for colon cancer? It's a great new option, I think. It's not yet perfect, but it's a stool test that's looking for abnormal DNA, abnormal genetic material that's shed from colon cancers. So it's a simple stool test. Now, for years, people have looked for alternatives to doing a colonoscopy. About two-thirds of Americans get properly screened, but about a third don't, and that's 23 million people. So what else besides doing a colonoscopy? People have looked at stool, blood, and that's looking for blood that's coming from a colon cancer. Um, and there are some problems with that. And now the latest one is looking at this abnormal DNA. And in the latest study, it was able to detect 92% of colon cancers, which is pretty good. Is that as good as a colonoscopy? You're a gastroenterologist. It's, it's in around the same territory. The problem, though, is the false positives. About 10% of the time, the person had an abnormal DNA test in the stool, but the colonoscopy was normal. And I can tell you, as a gastroenterologist, that's going to be a big problem, because if the test says there's a colon cancer, it doesn't tell me where in the colon it is. So I'm going up there. I'm winding up the colon. I'm looking for this cancer. It's not there. And that's going to be highly stressful. So clearly, they're going to have to perform affect this test a little bit more, they're going to have to improve on it to make sure there aren't so many false positives. So you still might have to get a colonoscopy after like, taking this test at home? Well, no matter what, um, this is just a diagnostic test to say there's something in there that we have to further investigate. If, it says, if it's positive, you're going to do a colonoscopy, and if you identify this colon cancer, then it's going to need treatment. It may need surgery. It's not as good for finding polyps, only about 42 percent sensitive for advanced more important polyps, and for the ones that are dinky polyps, little ones, it, it's not good at all. Can I get this test yet? Is it out on the market? It's not out on the market yet. The FDA is going to be looking at it shortly, and there are still some things to be refined. There are too many false positives right now, and that should get better as they figure out how to make the test better. And then eventually, though, I think you're going to see this as one of the options to pick up colon cancer, advanced colon polyps, and to stop people from dying from this terrible disease. Thank you, Dr. LaPook.